there we go. Now Jeffrey's on it for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Low Budgets. God, you had to choose yourselves right in the sun, didn't you? October 2nd, 2013, we have 24 days until the night of destruction. You see us continuing to work here. A couple updates for today. First off, and this one was a big one. On Saturday, we were out here and we were having some fun, obviously filming, working, announcing. We had races going on, no skid plates or a trailer or anything crazy like that. But we did have some guys with motor know-how. We asked one of them to check out this car, the Lincoln. It wouldn't start up. Why wouldn't it start up? We had no idea. There's one wire that was not plugged in. One, one wire. Well, that's all right. Because here we got it. It started up and that car is suddenly running. We were able to get a pulley after looking at, we went to Napa, we went to O'Reilly, we went to AutoZone, nobody had one. We went to pick your part, couldn't find it. Today we were walking around and giving out flyers for this weekend's event, CarQuest. They're like, we'll have it in an hour. So, suddenly we have a pulley for that car. We have a new radiator for this machine, as you can see up against the number two. So that car's getting a new radiator. And here's the big one today. It's a big if, but, we're going for it, folks. The car is sitting behind me that you were just sitting on. Today, we're gonna see if we can get that thing to start up. We have a lot of hours ahead of us. It's about four o'clock right now. We're gonna be here into the night, working hard on all these cars, radiators going in, and all sorts of junk. Holies, the fun stuff. The low budgets. Here we go. So our first line of duty is gonna be working on Tommy's car, briefly. This car had a radiator in it. We took it out because it actually it was a smaller one. We put a different one in and we found out that one had a hole in it. So we're gonna slap another radiator in this machine and get it going. And again, gotta give a big shout out to Dave's Auto. He, uh, he was a huge help in getting us these radiators. What? How you doing, Tommy? I'm well. I brought some water to the party. So just 24 days. Is that it? Only 24 a, a days? A little over three weeks. Until the... everything. Oh boy. I almost said until the derby, but there's three derbies that night. Your girlfriend's gonna be in a powder puff. Yep. Powder puff. And then if she does very well and the car still runs, she's probably gonna head up into the co-ed derby. She better. All right, well, whoever decided to come up with a radiator fill neck like this went to the same school that I did, but I graduated <laughs> A+. Plus. This one, D average. Yeah, I don't know where the logic is in uh, this angle. Like, what, what can we do? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pour gallons of water in my motor before I get to the funnel. Yep, look at that. That's... I've never seen anything more accurate. Thank you, thank you. I didn't realize you were so happy to see me. And now we know, the person that came up with this radiator fill neck hated our guts. He's an asshole! He said it best. Okay, so not. Well, I can't wait to destroy this radiator. I'm gonna screw this radiator up, folks. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. What? Well, I gotta see the water. You can. So, let's go get a refill. Folks, you need to see how we get water here at Irwin Hill. I think that's the best part. We go to the showers. Hit the showers, boys! Now, this is. <laughs> Hello? What are you? Oh my Respect my privacy. We're just trying to fill up the radiator bottle of water. <laughs> so, so this is what we have to do, folks. <laughs> we gotta we're gonna hit the show. Hey, hey, why do we call ourselves the low budgets? Because is that exactly what we are? <laughs> You're getting there. I'm gonna give it more than it needs. Then time to dry out. Damn it! 
So here we are looking at the... I'm leaving you! I'm done! I've had it! You always leave the screwdrivers over here! Not right there! Harry! Harry! Hey! Can you totally redeem yourself? <laughs> now what? I'm going to run this. Now what are we doing right now? There's no radiator, there's no fan. What the heck's going on here? We're going to try to rig this thing up just to hold water in the motor so you can go demolition derby driving. Wait, you can run a car without a radiator? Well, it's not going to be cool, but you've got a piece of pipe over there that we're going to put in between here. There's the pipe. Clamp it here and then just run it with warm water see how long it goes because something tells me this car is not going to be a uh, a contender now wait but you said that the first time and i finished fifth that's true big thanks to la racing for their services and these guys are just being too happy i honestly think there's a parade right now of swift trucks over here tom you just said that this might be the lowest budget thing we've ever done and then i realized that we're videotaping ourselves doing work that in itself is low budget. You know why we do that though, right? It isn't just because of the low budget series on your channel. Yeah. And so we remember how everything goes back on. <laughs> Maximum overdrive. <laughs> Maximum overdrive indeed. Well, guys, I know we're just living up to our name today. Yeah, we are. And how is that? This is how we're going to see what size belt we need when we go to the auto parts. I think the duct tape should do just fine. Yeah. So what we've heard to do is measure on the outside of the pulley. So we wrapped it with duct tape. We weren't kidding when we said this was a low budget idea. But you still love us, right? 